Welcome, welcome here on C Square. In this video clip, we're gonna talk a little bit about Pascal triangle. In fact, it's gonna be an introduction to Pascal triangle. And Pascal triangle is a very good method to expand polynomial. What do I mean by that? Look at here. If I wanna expand these guys, I can do the first one, right? A plus b to the zero power. That is one. And this one, the first power you, need, you know very well that is nothing than a plus b. I can do the second one, a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? But what about this one? Uh, this one will be a plus b times a plus b times a plus b, which if we look to the previous one would be what? a square plus 2ab plus b square times a plus b, right? So yeah, we multiply these two guys, which uh, are going to be this, and uh, we still have to work on that one, right? And uh, let's see what we get. I'm gonna move down here. That will be what? A cube, because I multiplied these two guys, right? Then a square b, right? Because I multiplied these two guys, and I'm gonna go with these two. And that will be 2a squared b. And then I have to go these two. And then I have 2ab squared. And I have these two. b squared a. And one more time, uh, and the last time, b times b squared times b, which is b cubed. And overall, this is going to be what? a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And that's not super complicated, but think about this guy or this guy. But what about a plus b to the 10 power? I don't see me doing all this multiplication. In fact, uh, let me clear this. And I don't see me doing all, all this multiplication. And so we did this too, right? Or like I said, a plus b to the 10 power. Nah, that is too complicated. So let's take a look. I did it for the first five. Let's take a look to some patterns here. Okay, which I'm gonna write them here. If you see, this is this one, and then I have one and one, right? Look at here how I'm gonna write that. And then I'm gonna start the next row, right? Again, oh, look at here. We have one, two, and a one. One, two, and then one. Do, do you notice the pattern here that if you add these two gentlemen, we get this one. Now let's see if that pattern works for the next row, right? One, right? Three, right? Three again, and one again. So if you notice, this guy here is nothing else than a sum of the previous two term in the previous row. And this one, the same story. You see, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 here. Okay, so basically I can write the next row. I don't have any space here, but let's try it. 1, mm, what is going to be this one? 4, right? Because 1 plus 3 is 4. What is going to be this guy? 6, because 3 plus 3 is 6. And again, we have a 4, because we have 3 plus 1 and a 1 here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 five rows here and we can move to the, and you see this one is this guy the last row the last row is this guy and we can move to the next one and we're going to get a plus b to the fifth power and this is what we call the pascal triangle right okay this is the guy right we we we, we uh, i'm uh, talking about and you see uh, there are a lot of patterns here some people may see this one, 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 one here. Yeah, that's the starting point, right? That's what we're going to start always like that. Uh, some people may see this pattern here. Yeah, that's uh, they, it's full of patterns in this Pascal triangle. But the one we care about in this uh, moment is each row. This one here means zero power, right? And it's zero. This one here means first power. This one means second, second power, third power, 
So if I have this uh, Pascal triangle handy, I can do any power. And in fact, in the next thing, you will see the Pascal triangle for more rows, right? So again, zero power, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Sixth power, seventh, and eighth power. So just through this one, I can do, for example, a plus b to the eighth power. That will be a to the eighth power because I have this one plus eight a to the seven b power because I have this eight. And you notice how the power decreases. Plus twenty-eight, twenty-eight. A to the 6B square plus 46. What do you think is going to be here? A to the 5th B to the 3rd power plus 50. 50 what? 50 A to the 4th B to the 4th plus. Let me move on this row. Plus. 46 again, we go backwards. 46, A to the third, B to the fifth power. Plus 28 again, 28, uh, A to the second, B to the sixth. Plus 8, 8 what? 8, A, B to the seven. And the last one, this one, like the first one, is going to be just simply b to the 8 power. This is the expanded form of a plus b to the 8 power. Very useful if you have the Pascal triangle handy. Now, before I end up this presentation, I just want to be sure we do have something that is called a binomial theorem, where you can use this uh, combination of n taken by k and get all the exponents. If you enjoyed this introduction in the Pascal Triangle, uh, please come back and see Square for more mad video of this. Thank you.